Hello everyone, hope everyone is well. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about a special day. Today is a very special day. Do you know what it is? Some of you may know that it's Earth Day and it's actually a very special Earth Day. April 22nd, 2020 marks the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. It was started on April 22nd, 1970. And the whole reason for Earth Day, you may know this too, is to just be aware of the fact that the earth needs to be taken care of, just like we take care of each other, or maybe you help take care of a little brother or a sister. We take care of the earth um, because we want it to be beautiful. We want it to stay nice. We don't want it to be littered, for example, so we don't litter. And we want to keep using its resources like water, for example. And maybe uh, one of the things that you do on Earth Day, specifically are aware of the things that you would do on Earth Day is that you make sure that you recycle. Maybe you um, use plastic bottles, you recycle plastic and glass bottles, and you recycle newspaper and cardboard, all the things that can be recycled and some cartons. You can recycle those things, and you make sure that things go either into the trash or into the recycling bin. Maybe you are aware of the fact that you don't want to litter, so you make sure that if you see something um, that's littering, you pick it up. You Maybe you help to uh, clean parks or help to clean just around your house and make sure that you don't litter any place. Maybe today you will look out and just look at how beautiful our earth is and appreciate the green grass that's coming up. It's springtime and you appreciate the beautiful trees and bushes that are flowering. I know in my neighborhood there are some flowering trees and they're gorgeous. I love to look at those. Or maybe you will plant a, a plant or maybe you will go out and look and see what's coming up in your yard or in your garden. It's always fun to do that. So this is the earth that we live in. And today I'm going to read you two books. One is called Earth Dance and it's about the earth. And the other one is about an ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. And you know, we live here in North America, the United States on the Eastern coast has the Atlantic Ocean and it's about the Atlantic Ocean. So let's get started. Earth Dance by Joanne Ryder and illustrated by Norman Gorbati. Earth Dance. Imagine you are standing tall in an empty space. Stretch your arms out wide and slowly spin around. Imagine you are growing taller than the trees taller than the hills, head high in the sky. You are growing so large, so tall. No one can see all of you now. Imagine you are dancing in space, even larger than the moon. Spinning around, you are round, wrapped in a quilt of bright colors, blue flowing seas, dark green woods and deserts of golden sand. You are twirling so gracefully, carefully, not even the sand moves as you spin. You are large and grand and your voice is the proud roar of icebergs crackling, waterfalls tumbling. Your whisper is a breeze murmuring through the reeds a tiny wave lapping land. Wiggle your shoulders and mountains tremble and quake. Shake your hair and feel windswept grasses tickle your face. You are streaked with roads and bridges, spotted with farms and factories. Up your hills and down your rivers, cars and ships carry people from one place to another, all places on you. You are where crickets leap, rabbits hop, and children run and run. Imagine them leaping and dancing with you as you spin. You are where people meet talking and singing and laughing aloud. Imagine hearing them, all their voices humming as you twirl. 
Turn your face to the bright sun and cities wake up, yawning to morning. Behind your cities in darkness, turn behind you, cities in darkness turn on their lights. Go to sleep and dream as you spin. You bring day, then night to everyone who calls you home. You spin around and also dance around the sun, bringing summer, bringing winter when snowflakes touch and cover you. And people leave soft footprints on your snowy fields. You are every place people rest and the place everyone knows best. You are older than anyone, yet each day you are where new life grows, flowers bud, and babies are born. You are home to ants and lizards, fish and dragonflies, roses and redwoods. You are shelter for people who may never meet, but share one thing. You are their home. Dance slowly, spin gently, and carry them through space. May they hear your whispers, feel your strength under their feet, and treasure you. For you are home, you are precious earth. Atlantic by Brian Karras. I am the Atlantic Ocean. I begin where the land runs out at the end of yards and streets and hills. I am the blue water at the beach, the waves, mist and storms. That salty smell is me too. I stretch from the icy poles north and south. I rub shoulders with North America and bump into Africa. I slosh around South America and crash into Europe. But I don't end there. The Pacific and Indian, Arctic and Antarctic are my relatives. We are one big family. My water doesn't stay in just one place. It travels from continent to continent. So that, so that iceberg floating past someone's window one day will sometimes find itself lapping at your toes on a warm, sandy beach. My fingers stretch out bays and inlets reach far into the land. Gulfs, seas, sounds, and channels lead to me and into me. They are me. I am here day and night, heaving, raging, lying still, scraping away at some land and putting it someplace else. Bit by bit, my shape changes as it has for ages, sometimes growing, sometimes shrinking, never staying still. The sun, so millions of miles away, heats my water, which turns into clouds and storms that rain into me and it starts all over again. The moon, so far out in space, pulls at me and then lets go, so my tides go in and out, ebb and flood. First, I was discovered, even though I was here first, and then conquered by men in big ships who named me. I've been crossed and probed, charted, studied, dirtied, Fishermen know me. They know my oyster beds and seek out my schools of fish with hooks and nets, long lines and traps. Artists paint pictures of me with cerulean, cobalt and ultramarine and poets know me with their beautiful words. The dancing shadow of your airplane skips over waves over wave with dolphins who sing and dance, with skates and whales and fish that fly. Seagulls sing to me, sand and pebbles rattle and clatter a course as I rush in and pull away. My worlds crash and whisper in your ear, 
Don't forget I'm here. I am the Atlantic Ocean.